In this game of puzzle, 48 checkers are placed on the two outside spaces of the standard 64 square checkerboard as shown. The object is to remove as many checkers as possible by diagonal jumps as in standard checkers. It is easy to remove 30 to 39 checkers, a challenge to remove 40 to 44, and a substantial feat to remove 45 to 47. So maybe we'll say the win condition for this will be getting into the 40 to 44 range, which is the challenge. Especially if it's easy to do 30 to 39, I guess. That sounds reasonable. Yep. Alright, we already missed some stuff here. I mean, Okay, we missed the instructions. Okay, so one check. Um, Solitaire Checker Puzzle by David All. And they have the same instructions we just read. Use the numbered board to indicate the square you wish to jump from and to. On the board printed out on each turn, one indicates a checker and zero is an empty square. When you have no possible jumps remaining, input a zero in response to question jump from. Oh wow, so you have to actually identify that yourself. Alright, and the problem here is with our board. Um, so it looks like it's one through eight, right? On each. Yeah. And we may want to do this. Let me just run this in PC Basic, or uh, sorry, Vintage Basic, just to see if the uh, layout of the board is a little bit cleaner. Yes, it is. Okay, awesome. There we go. Definitely cleaner. All right, so numerical board. Yeah, it's one through eight on each thing. All right, so we, we're supposed to jump them diagonally, they said. All right, so let's just try what's probably going to be a wrong strat, but it'll just get us a feel for maybe what the right one is. All right, so we're going to do, let's start at one and go to jump from one to 19. The only trick here is going to be cross-referencing the spaces to the, their numbers. We'll go 2 to 20. Does it tell us how many jumps we've made? I don't know if it's going to tell us that at the end. 3 to 21. 4 to 22. Five twenty-three. Oh wait, uh, can't. No, wait. We can't do that. Actually, never mind. Let's say legal move. Try again. Okay. Uh, we can do nine to what space is that going to be? Um, so that's eight, sixteen, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-seven. Which is a difference of eighteen. 10 to 20. No, there is no space in 10. Got it. I see, okay. Yeah, this is already... Maybe we can go reverse, actually, though. Might be able to do that. So we could do something like... Let me see here. I see, so the idea is you don't want to orphan anything, obviously. Um, so it's kind of similar to... What was that game? Hex... No, not Hexapon, High Q. It was like the peg jumping game. You know what I should do? Hold on, let's just quickly do this. This is going to make it easier, because I don't want to have to be counting where we are in each thing. Let me do another Google Doc here. I'm just going to do a grid of all the spaces through um, 64. Okay. 
Okay, up to 32. Fifty or forty-eight, fifty-six, and sixty-four. Okay, now I just need to capture that. Oh no! Didn't want that. The whole thing. Line this up right next to the thing. Actually, could I even do an overlay maybe? Let's see if we can do that. We have to make these a little bit wider. But... Um, six. Actually, that's about right. make this um, bring down the opacity somewhat. That could work, maybe. Yeah, here we can... Oh, yeah, that'll work out nicely. Cool. Alright, this will make it a lot, lot easier, just to make moves more quickly. Alright, let's do 16 to 30. Oh shoot, but already moved one. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, but then it corrects itself, so that's not bad. Um, that allows us to go from 5 to 23. Yes, I almost kind of want to start over, just to get the... Uh, so now I can start seeing a, you know, a very baseline strategy. 24 to 38. Uh, 6 to 24. Now we have 7 and 8 orphans. Although, can we jump? We can jump back up the other way, though, I imagine. Probably. 32 to 14. And then, yeah, you can. Awesome. Um, let's do 30 to 12. 7 to 21. Okay. 12 to 30. We need to get that 8 freed, maybe. 70 to 35 seems like we have to do. Let's do 62 to 44. And then 44 to 26. Oh, I should have skipped 19 first, oh well. 25 to 43. And it's probably going to be orphaned too. 64 to 46. Sixty-three forty-five. Forty-five thirty-one. Twenty-four thirty-eight. See if I want to move this slightly over. Okay. Forty-five, 
49.35. Well, yeah. And we can do 26 to 44. Actually, hang on. You need to get that 58 out. So basically, you probably want to work your way from the outer, from the starting position, you want to work your way from the outer ring. Try to free up as many of those as possible, probably, because otherwise, if they're on the edge of the board, they can't be jumped that direction. So. 40 to 54. Sixty-one to forty-seven. Um, forty-seven to twenty-nine. Then we're kind of orphaning that. Ah, we could do thirty-nine to fifty-three. And then, oh, we can go in two different directions with sixty. Dude, well, we got a problem in that row there, or that column 22, 30, and 38. I should free that up. 59 of 45. And if we skip the other way, 45 to 38, or 45 to 31. 56 to 38. And then jump back. 31 to 45. Okay. At least we can do some double jumping here. 27 to 13. And 13 to 31. Yeah, we're definitely okay. We're nearing. Well, yeah, we still have a little, little bit to go. Hey, Mr. Viking, how's it going? Uh, 50 to 44. Forty-four sixty-two. Yeah, but nineteen is kind of orphans. At least three up forty-five. Fifty to thirty-six. Forty-five to twenty-seven. Okay, so we're nearing the end here. Um, do we only have one more move? 26 to 12? No, I can go the other way, actually. Yeah. Does it matter? Probably not. 35, 17. Yeah, I think this is our last move. Yeah, that was it. All right, how many pieces do we have left on the board? Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. How many did we start with? Forty-eight, I believe. Uh, oh, it shouldn't show up. Okay, we started with 48, and we're down to, what did I say? How many are left? 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, we removed 36 jumps. Okay, right, so that was the easy part. Got it. So what did they say to do when you ran out of moves? Type 0 or something? Okay, good, so it tells you. It tells you how many you did. That's, that's helpful. So we don't have to, we're not gonna have to count them. You made 36 jumps and had 12 pieces remaining on the board. Try again. Yeah. So we got in the easy range, 30 to 39. But we want to get. If we can do four more jumps, now we know kind of how it works. We can try to do it a little bit more methodically. And uh, that'll be our GG if we can get in that 40, at least 40 uh, checkers. All right, so the way I want to do this, I guess, is 
try to get as many on the perimeter freed up. Because the ones on the perimeter are the hardest to move. So I'm going to do the outer ring. Well, you have to do that anyway, of course, but... At least initially. Maybe we should alternate. That might be a better strategy. Like, if I can... So, like, let's say, well... Yeah, that is a better strategy. Let's do 49 to 35. And then we can jump back around, maybe. So if I did 26 to 44, 53... How would I get back to 53 is the question. Oh, by the way, that counts as a death. I'm just trying to think ahead about how we want to play this. I could go, well, it's kind of the same. 26 or 44, maybe. Maybe we can do 57 to 43. Okay. Now, this is a problem now, though, because that whole corner, I'm or potentially orphaning a bunch of pieces there, actually. So, already we may have made a bad mistake. Yeah, and I have four ones in a row. That's really bad. Okay, we're going to have to get some other pieces in the mix here. Um, well, I could get 59 out, but then up to 61. We come out from 63 to 45. No, that's just okay. Oh, and free at 52. But ideally, I want to move out of there. So. Yeah, either way doesn't look great. At least get 41 out. 47. I want to avoid a lot of ones in a row. Um, oh, that's not repeating the mistake. But, all right, let's do 18 to 36. Ooh, that's actually a good idea. Now we can come down from 36 to 50. And at least take out 59. Although we could have done that anyway, but... Actually, yeah, maybe I don't want to do that. Yeah, but 52 I can remove anyway, so it's better to go 59 to 50. Okay, illegal move. Um... Oh, sorry, I wanted 59 to 41. Got it. I wanted to skip. Oh, okay. Okay, let's do 61 to 43. Yeah, it, it hurts not having really played checkers as a kid, but... We can do 47 to 61. 60 to 46. Forty-six to twenty-eight. Sixty-four to forty-six. Thirty-nine fifty-three. Sixty-two to forty-four. Okay. Eight, 
16 of 30. Hmm, damn it, now I have a diagonal row of 5, which is really bad. Alright, I'm gonna have to skip over that. Uh, best thing to do there, I think, is 7 to 21. And then 32 to 14. Yep. 5 to 23. 16 to 30. Now 24 to 38. Thirteen to thirty-one. Forty to twenty-two. Okay. Twenty-one to thirty-nine. And we can do forty-eight to thirty. Hey, let's go and switch. Skip back with 30. 30 to 12. This is going to be a problem that we're going to end up with them sort of stacked that way. Uh, actually, we can do a double jump at least. 17 to 3 and 3 to 21. And then. Let's do 21 to 35, 44 to 26, 33 to 19, uh, 2 to 20, we could do. And now we're running out of moves here. In fact, we may already be out. We should. This went worse than the first run. Yeah, and I don't think we can make any other moves. Damn it, we did worse. 33 jumps. And uh, 15 pieces remaining on the board, so that was worse than the first one. Okay. We want to get 40. So maybe I should start the way I did originally from the from the corners. Alternatively, I could start making double jumps as soon as possible. Let me try something on a different strat. Five to... Five to 19. Then let's jump back with 26 to 12. And then jump from three to 21. Let's just leave there for now, and we can go up with 48 to 30. Okay. Oh, look at this. Yeah, 21 to 39. 32 to 46. Uh, that works out decently. We can get out the corner now, 8 to I don't want to go... No, that would be five in a row. I don't want to do that one. <laughs> hey, Knuckles. Yeah, well, I just have the... Uh, since you have to use the uh, grid... Uh, the uh, Identify the spaces that you're moving by number. I want to have to individually count every time I want to make a move. Make a move so I did a, a transparent overlay here of the uh, space numbers. Works well enough, I think. Alright, I want to get rid of that 46 somehow. Best way to do that. Um, well, if we came over with the 16 and skip. No, I don't want to skip 23 though. If we 
game over 21 to 30. Actually, that would work out not bad. 16 to 30. Whoops. 30. Okay, there we go. And then we want to do 7 to 21. Sort of jump from here. Oh, I don't want to go four in a row though, that's a problem. Let's try it. Well, eight to 15, no, eight to 22. No, that's going to put five in a row. I don't want to do that. So, is there any way to avoid? I see what I want to have happen. I need to get that number 8 out to somewhere around 29. So I have to navigate something into 29. I think I, I think we could do that if we go from 56 to 38. And then come around with um, 61 to 47. Oops, no, no, no. 61 to 47. And now 47 to 29. Eight to twenty-two. Twenty-two to thirty-six. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. So I could come across. I don't think I'm gonna do that. So now the question is 6 and 24. I may leave that side of the board and come back to it though. That may be a better strategy to sort of work everything inwards as much as possible. If I come in with um, 55 to 37, maybe. If I orphan that, is that going to be a problem? Maybe not. It's diff it definitely is difficult to read the board properly. I'll say that much for this. Because there's a lot going on with it. How are we going to get out 24? Well, we don't necessarily need to get it out, but... Is it blocking anything by being at 38? I guess not. But then you have 40 to worry about. Okay. Interesting. All right, let's let's come back to that side of the board later. Do we want to skip ten or nineteen, eighteen? Let's go two to twenty. Hey, how's it going, Duriel? It's one check. So if we can clear out a remaining space, actually, that would be good. So actually, I think with that in mind, we should do 4 to 22. Okay. That way, whatever lands on 27 can then be skipped. Good. All right. Uh, doing okay. We're trying to get the. Uh, we're trying to make as many jumps as possible with pieces on the board, sort of checkers style. could come up. See, it doesn't help that I just don't... I never played checkers as a kid, so I don't have, like, a good... 
I don't have like a good innate sense for, you know, double and triple jumping and all that stuff, which is probably would be effective here, is my guess. We can come across with 57, maybe. 43. 43 to 29. Yeah. Uh, 29 to 15, come up with 40 to 22. And then maybe come down with 15. Yes, that actually looks good. 29, yeah. Cool. It's all about how we want to maneuver to get over there. Do I want to be landing on 44? I don't think so. At least not yet. As long as I can... Can I navigate something else from down to 44? Oh, here's an interesting move I can make. I could go 30 to 12, and then free that guy. And go 17 to 3, and then 3 to 21. Okay, that was an interesting one. We're orphaning one bit. Maybe you want to orphan the corners. Maybe. Yeah, I like that actually. 41 to 27. Then we do um, 20 to 34. 9 comes down to 27. And then we can either do 34 up to 20 and take up 29, or 25 to 43. Jump across. The problem is if I leave 25 there, we're opening that like four in that first row, which is kind of iffy. I think I'd rather do 34 to 20. Huh. We'll come back to that side, I guess. We'll see how things develop in other areas. 53, 39. Yeah, that looks good. So we... Yeah, we can come... Can we come back around? Yes, we can. And we can get out 64 to 46. 39 goes to 53. 62 goes to 44. No, wait a minute. I need another jump to get me there. So maybe 58 goes to 44. And you've got three in a row. I see, we need another one in 35 or 37, I believe. Those would be side by side. Yeah, we gotta work, and yeah, this is kind of getting to crunch time here. I don't like that four diagonal either, that's bad. We need to free that up. And yeah, maybe by going to 35. And we bring, we can get the 25 out by going to 43. Need to get need to bring a guy into that mix to do some double jumping, which we could do if we bring out 60 that in that direction actually. 60 to 42. And then go to 28. 42 to 28. Bring down 21 to 35. And 
then we bring out 62 to 44. Ariel moving Quest for Glory, Trial by Fire. Uh, two slots I think I saw. Yes. Moves out of Elvira 2, the Jazz of Swords and Anchorhead. Up to B25. Doriel's Veer pick. Now I call, wow, a slot for Rex and Embular, okay. He's ahead of Circle of Blood to Arc 2. On the raffle queue. And Akago buying a gun for Planetfall. Uh, no, Jory, so the, the highest you can go for the promotion is the third slot, so you'd be looking at V3 there. Yep, Broken Sword 1 is the DOS game. Yeah, maybe that's because it was called Circle of Blood, who knows. And then uh, Gun for Planet. Olimar is one for Bloodnet. Moves ahead of Manhunter New York to V19. Oh, he's gonna buy it in three slots. Ahead of Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure and The Secret of Monkey Island. And here's gun number three for Planetfall from Akago. Four for the Last Express, and we've got 16 for Conquest of the Longbow. Alright, there we go. Oh, one more from Stormy. King's Quest 2. Romancing the Throne. Moves ahead of Discworld 2. Mortality Bites to the top of our viewer queue. You Stormy. Alright, where were we? So the idea is, when we were 12 left, we want at least 8 or fewer pieces, right? Because that would mean 40 jumps. How many pieces do we have right now? 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Ugh. So we got to get at least... How many can we jump? Probably uh, We can jump at least 2, 3 I'm seeing. Damn it, I may be one or two shy. I may be one or two shy. Um, if I bring 44 to 26, I could use 33 to get to 19. And 52 goes to 34, but that is... No, that could jump 27. So I'm seeing at least two, three, four jumps I can make. So, four would bring us down to, uh, let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine remaining. Fuck, I think I'd be one shy. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. If we work our way down, no, that's not going to work. So 
Any way I can get to 36 to 50. Can I navigate to 50? No, I can't. Yeah, I think we're gonna be a couple. I think we can get it maybe to 39, but that's probably gonna be it. Because I need to get five pieces off the board, and I think I can only skip four. All right, but at least this this is probably gonna be progress, so that's the good news. But uh. so anyway, I can get there. Yeah, this is kind of very similar to to hexapon, obviously with the peg jumping. Although here it's only diagonally. Forty-four to twenty-six. Then we can go thirty-three to nineteen. Oh wait, no, no, no! I can get one more off the board. Yes, yes. Um, Fifty-two to thirty-four, thirty-four to twenty, and I can do another one here with uh, twenty to thirty-eight. So that, yeah. You know, now we're left with four, five, six, seven, eight remaining. Is that 40 jumps or 39 jumps, though? It might still be one sh Yes, you made 40 jumps! And I had eight pieces remaining. There we go, we got into the challenging. Oh, I didn't resume the timer, but anyway. We got into the ti uh, to the challenging uh, category. And that's enough for GG. For one check. Just skin by, but we... We were able to do the uh, meet the challenge of 40 to 44 jumps, just from David Dahl. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't real color. That was just uh, that was just a Google Sheet grid in the background to help me identify the uh, space numbers. Ooh, okay.